This is the Savage Nation. What would you like to talk about? The phone number is 1-800-449-8255. What else is in the news? Do you want me to talk about the bald-headed psychotic Lofner removed from courtroom and who has been found incompetent to stand trial even though everyone who was there saw him kill a number of people? And while we're talking about Lofner, can you tell me why Major Nidal Hassan has still not been brought to trial? Major Nidal Hassan, the Muslim major who committed the Fort Hood massacre, is being hidden by the U.S. government and the U.S. Army, who refuse to bring him to trial for fear that the people will see things as they really are. Can anyone explain why he hasn't been brought to trial better than I have just done so? No, you cannot. 1-800-449. TSA pats down child, little old lady, ignores man in Arab garb. What did I tell you was going to happen in this country? You have faith in the TSA working for Big Sis? Uh, I may wake up tomorrow and find out that my dog has been indicted. That they may want to interrogate my, my poodle and see if he can give the dope on what I really say behind the scenes. For all I know, Big Sis is liable to send the dog investigator to my house and seize Teddy and say, Teddy, we understand you're a member of the DU, or is it the PU, the Poodle Union? We want to bring you in for some questioning, just routine. Don't be frightened, Teddy. We're going to have a special canine interrogation unit asking you what really goes on in the Savage household. Don't worry, though, we have special techniques. We're going to put you on a special dog kibble. We'll get the truth out of you yet, Teddy. Come with us. Come this way to the new DHS, says Big Sis, in the imaginary cartoon of my mind. New York City, WOR. Daniel, welcome to the program. Thank you. Yeah, Mike, I'd like to know what I could do and in, uh, in, in, in what's happened over in England because this has disturbed me for quite some time since it's been going on. And I'm an American. It's very simple. Go to michaelsavage.com. On the middle right, there's a petition you can sign. If you've not signed it, sign it. Because I'm meeting with, uh, I'm, I have a telephone conference tomorrow with a major U.S. senator, very high up the food chain, who is going to try to organize the U.S. Senate to intervene on my behalf the way they did for Ramos and Campion. Do you remember the Border Patrol agents uh, who were every- falsely accused? Of uh, killing an illegal, uh, shooting an illegal alien who was smuggling drugs. Remember what happened to them under the great George Bush? Ramos and Campion, Campion were put in jail. Remember that? Incarcerated, yes. Okay. Put in jail for over, I don't know how long they served. People were screaming, get Ramos and Campion out. They were only doing their job. And Bush did nothing. He looked the other way. It took 105 or so members of Congress in a petition drive to get them uh, out of jail. It just shows you what we have for leaders today in the Western nations, which is why we're crumbling and why we're no longer really a force in the world of ideas. We may have the most powerful military on earth, but in terms of a powerful, um, a powerful force of ideas, no, it's not coming from America. The most powerful force of ideas on the planet is coming from Islam right now. You can write that down. They're vociferous in pushing their ideas and their uh, thinking, if you want to put it that way, on the world. We are pushing nothing on the world. All we're doing is reacting, and, and, and by the way, in a very tepid manner. Wisconsin, Michael, you're on the Savage Nation. Michael, I am with you 100%. I am 59 years old. I am from Chicago. I was born and raised in Chicago. I... I why aren't we demonstrating? Why aren't we going against this? I, what they did to you in England was wrong. I say what I want to say. Nobody likes it. That's too bad. I don't lie. The truth shall prevail, and you tell the truth. You're a very intelligent man. I would love to come on your talk show because I have a lot of secrets that I've been hiding for many, many years about this government and the things that are going on in it, and it stinks. Are you a, mem- a former member of a government? No, I was serving the Marine Corps during Vietnam, and we did. Uh, I helped build uh, President Johnson's limousine uh, down in Chicago. Uh, hmm. And my initials are on the bottom of the limousine on armor plating. We did the two Secret Service cars. Oh, and so you I, really, you were really down. You were down on the. <laughs> you know something about uh, LBJ's armored car? I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to pry about that. Well, look, I appreciate your heartfelt call, and I know that there are thousands of you out there, if not more who if I said, look, we're going to rally in Chicago or we're going to rally in New York or San Francisco or wherever on a such and such a date, I want you to be there for me. We could probably get 50,000 people to a stadium. And the day may come, but the day has not yet come. And I thank you very much for offering. Please understand that I am a talk show host. I am not a revolutionary, nor am I running for office. However, I think this issue 
goes way beyond the single man. And if they'll do this to me today, they'll do it to you tomorrow. Moreover, it's going to bite a liberal in the behind, as sure as I'm sitting here. Very shortly, this will bite a liberal in behind very, very shortly. All those fraudulent liberals who shoot their mouths off about freedom of speech, this, artistic, uh, that, when they just want to push pornography and filth down your throat, or they want to bash Christians and white people, which Larry David does for a living, Every other show he did was about bashing Christians and bashing Christians. That's all he did in Brooklyn, where there's a, a degree of racism that you could never believe. But to think that a man from this small village of Brooklyn and his cohorts have risen so high in America and yet have such a um, uh, I'm looking for the right word, have such a malcontent towards this country is all incomprehensible. They've become richer than a king. More famous than you could ever imagine. And all they were were street bums. Most of them never went to college. Just smart aleck guys who were no better than, than, than car hops or bus boys. But because they had a certain degree of talent, a certain degree of humor, and they went in with the, the Hollywood mafia, and they knew how to kiss certain behinds, here they are at the top of the world, and what do they espouse? They hate Christianity, they hate Christians, and they hate America. And these people were the types who flunked science or never took it. They're the most fanatic believers in the false religion of global warming. They're fools, don't you understand it? But they're dangerous fools. Now, what does it have to do with me? Everything and nothing. As I said earlier, they have everything and nothing to do with my situation. Except I'll ask you good liberals one question. How is it that not one liberal that I know of has come to my defense? How is it that all of you liars who speak so highly about the First Amendment, who worked overtime to make sure that Larry Flynn could put filthy, dirty, disgusting, anti-female pornography in every household, how come you degenerates have nothing to say when it's real free speech? Where are you now that I need you, all you fraudulent lawyers who charge me $400 an hour to defend me against slander and libel? Where are all you First Amendment frauds from New York City with law degrees who are on medication day and night and scream about the First Amendment that you're you're an expert on the First Amendment. I haven't heard from any of you. What's the matter? You didn't get cash on the barrel head? Don't you understand that all you talk about the First Amendment came from pornographers and the front for the pornography uh, uh, mavens of America? That's all it was about. It comes down to real freedom of speech, real ideas that have no pornography attached to them. None of the wise guys from Brooklyn... None of the wise guys... None of the, the bellhops from the Catskill Mountains who got lucky have said one word about this issue. Not one of these bellhops from Brooklyn has said one word. All they do is espouse anti-Christian and anti-American rhetoric behind the scenes. You want to know what they say behind the scenes? Don't get me started. I grew up with these bellhops. I know what they think of America, and I know what they think of Christianity. It makes me sick to tell it to you. Seattle, Jake, you're on the Savage Nation. Glad to hear from you in Seattle, Washington. Mr. Savage, I'm a liberal arts major at the University of Washington, and uh, today we had a discussion regarding conservative, uh, conservatives and liberalism, and you came up in the conversation, and uh, the, pe the professor brought you up as uh, a narrow-minded bigot. Uh, being a huge fan of the show, I stood up for you. I said, it's not true. He's a, you know, he's a brilliant man. Well, he's just jealous because all he has is a group of students he can threaten with grades. He has no one who's ever heard of him. Uh, was the topic was what about free speech? Uh, yes, sir. It was under the, uh, the uh, separation of church and state. Oh, I see. In other words, he was trying to bash religion and make sure that Christianity once again was banned from the classroom and from the public sphere. You see, you got to understand that that's all they're after here is to ban the Bible. That's all they want to do. Absolutely correct. You understand where they're coming from, don't you? That basically they want to push pornography and degeneracy down your throat, and they want to make sure that real Christians are not heard from. Absolutely correct. You're okay to be free if you're a homosexual. You can push your... Well, let, let's not go into... A, so I don't want to go down that road. I'm just telling you I know where they're coming from. I pay no attention to Martinet professors. That's all I can tell you. 1-800-449-8255. What else do you want to talk about? New York, WOR. Mike, welcome to the program. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> you are so Mike. right when you say it could happen to anybody. Um, this whole Internet thing uh, just scares the living crap out of me. 
um, clicking on whatever you click on, uh, uh, you, you like this program or that program, who's watching? So you're afraid that the Internet is being monitored by Big Sis? Absolutely. Well, what else do they have to do in between watching child pornography? What else do you think they're going to do with your money? Yeah. All right, thanks for the call. Yeah, I have no faith in my government. Do you? I fear my government. Do you? Do you trust the Obama government? I don't. Do you fear the Obama government is spying on you? I do. Do you suspect the Obama government would like to make certain that you never open your mouth with anything that's negative about uh, the grandson of the Kenyan cook, uh, excuse me, the Irish barrister, or whatever, whatever he is today. We don't know what he is. Two days ago, he was a son of Ireland, and now he's a, a Kenyan cook's grandson. He's a man for all seasons, I suppose. In that sense, he's a true American. I'll be right back. So